This video will outline some key similarities and differences between working with civil geometry elements and civil drawing elements uh, in regards to terrains, profiling, stroking, and linear templates slash corridors. To begin with, a microstation element and we'll symbolize the microstation element as a yellow line uh, can be drawn everyone's very familiar with the attributes however snaps and extensions and any other manipulation of the line are not carried through so we need to reapply snaps and so forth horizontal geometry or drawing elements in our civil design are, make no doubt, are essentially microstation elements. And we'll symbolize these as red. However, the difference being these elements carry rules, gaps, and intervals. So that when we perform the same test, we'll see manipulators to key in or lock in values, as well as rules in the form of snaps, modifications, such as trimming to intersection, trimming to element, and so forth. Um, certain tools will have no effect on the civil geometry elements, such as copy, uh, mirror, uh, scale, uh, rotate, etc., move parallel. These will have no bearing on these elements. So, um, they will have certain limitations in that uh, microstation element. We can simply pick up and move. Um, while we can more or less basically move a single element in geometry, um, we cannot as easily pick up and move an alignment per se. So once we create a complex using the special complex by element command, we lose that functionality. So there are advantages to using these elements and disadvantages. So one misconception is that um, once we apply vertical geometry, we can only do this to, uh, again, remember the red are our civil geometry or civil platform elements. So the misconception is that we can only apply vertical elevation or profiles to civil geometry which if we look at it uh, here we locate we give it an elevation and we now have a civil platform element at 10 feet in a profile the reality is we can also do this to a microstation element remember these are a microstation element and civil geometry are the same in that they're microstation elements the basic microstation graphic however does not have the ability to store rules so uh, we can however assign a profile so we don't need to featureize it um, although we will get certain advantages if this is featureized so where we can place a profile view of that element we can give it any profile we want to along that element and the element will continue to behave like a microstation element so we can see how the profile extends and so forth based on the microstation element now there are certain advantages to featureizing a microstation element and there are other advantages to creating a, a civil ruled graphic from this element um, however make no doubt we can create corridors off of a microstation element uh, and we can also apply a linear template. Now a linear template is simply um, a form of a corridor that doesn't permit multiple drops and some other functions that you may see in corridor uh, design. So in this case you know we have a graphic and I actually have a corridor template in place so I'm just going to use that and data point as this is a corridor and we will in fact see our corridor draw now the question comes in we didn't see an option to specify our template drops so 
uh, how are template drops controlled along this microstation graphic and regardless which element we place a linear template on whether it's a civil ruled graphic or a microstation graphic we do not have the ability to specify template drops template drops are controlled through element information through a stroking value so we can go to our linear stroking along our element and if we want to increase the template drops we can key in a value on that linear stroking and we'll see the template drops increase um, conversely we can decrease that value now we can also look at the template or the corridor uh, in the properties it does support design staging so we can in fact use design stages on these elements the same as if it were placed on a civil ruled graphic corridors on the other hand whether on a regular microstation graphic um, in this case the graphic has no 3d value but we can generate the 3D value and again we can create corridors in the same way so uh, we have design stage a name we can pick a template we can have interval or rather template drops uh, we can specify here an interval and so forth so this will behave like any other corridor and if we need to we can modify our element and again that's just a basic microstation graphic hope that helps